All right, I have a box from HSN, and must be auto ship. And I'm hoping it's a good one. I've got another one, but because I was gone, a friend picked it up, and so I will have to do that haul. So if if this is real quick, then we'll just do something. We'll use whatever it is. Did you see? I don't. Usually that's on the bottom. So I guess I need to just make sure I'm opening these. Not that anybody really cares, but you just never know. There's so many weirdos in this world. This is Anna Griffin with showing well he's Wishing well. Oh, oh, this is got to be amazing, right? It's the finishing school, so we'll do one, and then I will watch the finishing school and come back and we'll do another one, and we'll see just to get an idea how much it helps. How much does the finishing school actually help? You know, so I'm sorry, I'm just ripping it. I'm t it's been a long trip, a long drive today, and I'm just. Wishing well, wishing well, wishing well. I think this was, like, the floor shop is pretty and stuff, but I think this was one of the ones that I was like, oh, I gotta have that. So, uh-oh. I'm just showing everything here, better not. How to assemble, so. We're gonna do this. We're gonna... Um, let me think. It says, let's look at it first. Oh, that might help. So here are, these are all envelopes. Here is the die set. And so this is your wishing well. There's a shadow layer to it. Here is for the stopper. This helps you make the flap to make it a um, easel card. There's the bucket. So you got an extra bucket. And an extra, um, I don't know what that would be called, the thing that lays it down in there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's just do a shaped card, I think. You want to see the papers? So are they double sided? Oh, they are double sided. Look. So we got this one and this. We have, I love this. This right here is right up my alley here. And then the purple, you know, with the two purple patterns, the light purple and the dark purple. And we have a red. Is there anything on the other side of that? Purple. And we have a brown. And what's on the other side of the brown? I like a gray color. And then we have this rose with the green in the back. See, I love double-sided paper. You can't go wrong with double-sided paper. I mean, you get to... Um, be able to make 
to do side the pretty butt if when you have to cover one up. That's when it gets hard because then you're like, oh, look, the fern. Uh, love that fern. Okay, it reminds me of wallpaper <coughs> I had back in the, like, late 70s, early 90s, early 80s. Okay. Oh, look at the pink. And just a little green and then blue. That's pretty. And green. And then blue. And green. <coughs> okay. So if we want to do a shaped card, I don't want to use these papers. I want to save these for the easel. So for a shaped card, oh, I've got such a mess right now. I don't know. Deep in the valley. That is not going to fit there, right? No, not even close. Okay. We need to make a card blank first. Oh, I still haven't shown you all of it. I don't know what's the matter with me. I'm like, okay, we're going to make a shape. Well, I haven't even shown you everything. Oh my goodness. Okay, gold. Is it all gold? It is. It's all gold. And I like her gold paper. I don't know why it's different. Maybe it's the thickness. I don't know what the thickness is. It probably says on the thing. But I do really like her gold. And it's kind of matte, right? It's not real shiny. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I like that it's matte. I don't know. I just know that I really like. So... These are the cards you put down. Sentiment. I mean, you can do whatever you want, I guess. And then we have um, these wishing you well, make a wish, sending well wishes on your birthday. Let's see what all we got in here. All right. On your birthday. On your birthday. Sending well wishes. Oops. Wishing you well. The reason I like to show these is even though it's auto ship, sometimes they sell them separate. And if you keep it in mind that, you know, I didn't like that one or I really did like that one, then if it comes up for sale separate, and you have it in your mind, you'll know if you want it or not, you know. So, if you didn't order it, it's still worth it to to see what's in it and if you like it. Thank you. There's wishing you well. And wishing you well. And happy birthday. And happy birthday. Wishing you well. Make a wish. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Get well wishes. Get well wishes. Sending well wishes. Make a wish on your birthday. And thank you. So, wishing you well. I really like that sentiment to go with this kit. So these are, I think these are the stickers that are flat. So there's no, um, see, there's a few of these though, like four, one, Two, three, four, and then these ones go the other way. So that's cool. You know, she thinks of that. A lot of them don't think of that. So these, I don't know. 
if there's any that go the other way in these. Are they the same? Nope, they go the other way. See, she thinks of that stuff. So then there's these, and these are all like gold foiled. Not all, but the ones so far that I'm showing are gold foil. That's got a rose. Um, this is the one I already showed. And we got these. Flourish. This is one of them. Also the three, four. Four of them. Wait. Is that the, no, that goes the other way. So let's see. Four each way is what it looks like. Oh. One, two, three. Oh, that's different. And there's the four. I think. <laughs> I don't want to like divide them up and all of that because it won't be here forever. Okay, so these are just, and I'm not even really sure they're stickers. I'm just assuming they are. <coughs> but some greenery to put around our wishing well. Big ones, little ones. Here's some more gold. See, they're going the different ways. Nice. Another butterfly. Butterfly. So these are all, you know, single layer. Clouds? That's different. Is that a cloud? Huh. That's very different. Okay, some greenery. And we got some flower pots. Well, it looks like roses. So we got to decorate up our wishing well, wishing well. Some more. It looks like a fern leaf, right? Rose. Oh, look at the birds. Rose. More of the birds on the rose. Birds. This is just green. Here we've got some gold foiled little butterflies or moss, whatever you want to call them. To me, when they look like this, that's more like a moth than a butterfly. Okay. Some more green. It's just a green, like, circle with, I guess it's supposed to be like a bush. Okay, I think we've seen pretty much all of it. These are all just, you know, because you get multiples of everything. Let's look at these other stickers. Just Anna Griffin. Got so much class, right? And taste. I just love her stuff. And then these are our dimensional stickers. So I'm just gonna do them real quick as I put them back in the bag. So we got some roses. Okay. 
some more roses. They look kind of big to be going on that well, but I do want to give you an idea what's in here. That's why we're just doing it real quick so you can see. Baby's in there squawking. Baby does so well on trips. Just amazing. But, um, the problem is the hotels don't. They'll take a dog, a cat, or whatever, but they won't take a bird. So, that's the only problem with that. Just finding one that'll take a bird. I don't know. But more roses. A little yellow rose. A little bit handheld rose. Like, you know, you hold up a bouquet of, but not really a bouquet, like, you just pick them in your hand. Trying to, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Just a lot of roses on this one. I think she does do a lot of roses too, but it would be fun to see her kind of expand on that a little bit more. And these are all um, matte. They're not shiny stickers, so, you know, I like that. I don't know why, but it just... So... That's different, right? It's the back of the rose. Wow. I would have never expected that. I like that. Roses. And whether you get the finishing school in the auto ship or later on down the line, you get access to the class. Yep, down the rose, roses. So that's why, if you like it, and later on you, you know, they she puts it up as just a single item sale. Yep, if you like it, do it because you still get the class and everything. I know she, in October, she's got the next Create come in and want to do that, but, money, 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 money. Okay, so now i got to figure out. I'm going to take this, and I need it folded, and so I'm going to. Fold. How much time do I have? Okay. It had to be a pretty quick card, but since it's stickers, we can do that. We just do a real simple, 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 simple card. So I'm not gonna need this because that's the me the mechanism. For the easel, and I'm not going to make this an easel. I'm just going to make this a shaped card. And so for the shaped card, I'm going to use this. And so that means that, you know what? I 
should have done it this way. You know, tenfold. But I don't know how I would fold that. This shape does not is not going to make an easy shaped card. It's not going to hold it well. So, what am I going to do? I guess I'll just do a well on a card. Let me make sure this is 5 by 7 Because I know it's not. <laughs> so I'm going to cut it to 5 by 7 And I've already got it folded, right? Now I just got to cut through two layers of it. 5. I'm going to cut them both. Yep. By... Seven. Okay. Five by seven. Boy, that's barely going to fit. It will, but barely. All right. Let me see her idea sheet here. Let's see what colors she uses for background. So she... Shoot, we're going to use some of her paper. Yeah, we are. Um, what did I do with her paper? Oh. That is her paper. I was thinking this was from my card kit. <laughs> oh, man, that stuff looks so much like integrative and stuff. Um, okay, I'll use this one for the background. So this one for this. And then for this. I will use... gold and I'm gonna actually pause you this time um we should be okay to come back because the scam callers don't call on Sunday on Saturday they don't call on the weekends they only call during the week so I'm not getting a million phone calls. So this and this. And I might. I think I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do these two colors. And then we'll decorate it on the card. That's what I think. Okay, so I'm going to pause you. I'll be right back. Alright, let's take a look how these cut. I used my. Sizzix switch and they used a low plate combination so there's no metal plate or nothing back here. And of course for this one it cut out no problem. And we knew that would be I'm not real sure about this one with all the intricate cuts though. So let's see. Mm. No, but it shouldn't have, really, it shouldn't have. Um, honestly, it kind of looks like it did a better job than I thought it would. Look at that. That's not too bad. I'm gonna 
look at this. I'm impressed right now. I am very impressed right now. What else is supposed to come in with these? Maybe this wasn't as intricate as I thought. This is all embossing, not um, not cutting out. So that's different, right? I expected it to cut a lot out. But it's embossed. So I'm happy with that. It looks like. Yeah, it's all embossed. So. Cut out what it was supposed to cut out. Not that, huh? No. Nope. doesn't show in here about this one but okay so I'm happy <laughs> that worked that was easy okay so we're gonna put this one on here and that's what I'm gonna do with the well for this card because we're doing the um mostly it was about you know kind of unboxing and hauling it I would think that would be. Nope, it's still in there in the picture too. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna do I'm just getting and this is where you see what didn't come out <laughs> but it's coming out it's just a day yet all I gotta do is take it out now you don't have to do what I'm doing, but I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. So that if you want to, you can. If you look at where my glue is. Here, I put the glue a little bit down. I didn't put it all the way up on this edge. That way, if I want to stick some flower stuff in there, I can. But it's just a little bit dropped. Not a lot. And it could shift up and then it won't matter anyways, but. Okay, and then I'm just going to glue this down there, and then we'll decorate it. So, oh, I should have. 
mad at this with something, right? I should. Mm. So it's the blue. So I don't think I want to do the blue. Let me see what I got here. Um, so it's the blue. And then on the other side of the blue is the green. And I don't want to do that. Um, I think I'm going to do this. I hate to use this and a grape and a paper for this, but. And this. So this, then this, and then this. Does that work? Um, maybe not. No, that's too much blue, but <sighs> no. Well, I might have to use no. I'm not liking any of them. No. There we go. That'll work for me. I just wanted to get that stuck down because I already had glue on it. <laughs> so let me <coughs> trim it out and see what size I come up with. closer because it's got to be five by seven right maximum and that's way over five by seven so let me get this so I'm not gonna be able to put that many mats and layers on it anyways well that's Okay. <coughs> Seven. Let's see how this fits on the card. Maybe we'll just have white and pink. Yep. We're going to take a little bit more off the bottom. So then we have this, right? Always got to check your opposite sides because sometimes that's where you find the best stuff. Sometimes your B side is your A side. 
you can see. I didn't put a lot on the glue in there, but it'll hold it. And that's what matters. And it's not warping my paper. So this is good. This is good. Okay. Now if I want a sentiment on here, I'm going to have to have one of the dimensional sentiments. So let's see. How we want to do this. Let me... Um... You know, you kind of pull it all out and you just got to find something that's going to work. See, I left that empty and it's still glued down. Even though I didn't put glue all the way to the edge, it still brought it over. smaller ones. Ooh. Those are not smaller. Those are not smaller. Maybe, I thought there were smaller ones of these, but there we go. Nope. And I can put this here, but this can go here, right? And I think... That'll do it for the flat ones, and I'm going to go ahead and move them down. And I know you shouldn't do this until you have it figured out, and you'll see why. Because, <laughs> oh, it's a sticker, right? Maybe it's not a sticker. It looks like a sticker. Well, I'm going to glue it instead of spinning forever. And then I find out it's not a sticker. I'm pretty sure it is, but we do need to get done with the video, right? So I just want to stick that in there a little bit. There we go. This is not going to be the only thing on here, so we're going to have layers, right? And layers and layers. And that's why... I know it is a sticker. I don't understand why. Maybe not a sticker, okay. I just figured all of our stuff was stickers nowadays, but I guess maybe not. Maybe not the flat ones. Maybe just the dimensional ones are. Okay. Either I'm not going to sit and fight them when we got to get done.
They don't want them the same height. So this is lower. This one's a little bit higher just to give it more dimension. Right. And then I'm going to do some floral. I might want to use a butterfly. I might That's what I've already got in there. Okay, I'm not going to use like the big flourishes and stuff. Uh, maybe if I was, you know, had it shaped and all that, but I don't. So, that's why you get two directions. So, if one hangs over the shape, you can back it with the like one. Maybe that's also why they're not stickers. Now we get to choose the fun stuff, right? Um, spread them out and look at them. See, I always like, you know, look at the big sprays and things. Like this kind of this thing can go there. We need a sentiment. Let's see. Um, wasn't there wishing you, wishing you well. I'm going to use that here. You could go to the side. Maybe I can do that to the side. And then I can do some more. I'm going to go ahead and it seems like everything is usually a sticker that I get and I didn't think. She was been making them not stickers anymore. I need like a pokey tool to see if I can get it. If it's just my nails. Right over here. And it's white. Should be a sticker. Wishing you well. I like all the little spriggy stuff like this. But, see, I might want to use these for a shaped one. Because I do like my sprig. So, <coughs> that's that one. this one anywhere either. That looks pretty right. Okay. I think it does anyways. Look, if this one doesn't come off, I know it's me. Yes, they're not stickers. 
underneath that was not sticky. I'm gonna have to go look and see what it is. Seems like something we've been seeing up here. Like that needs to be tucked in in there. And then the butterfly. That needs more flower though too. Okay, I'm not even going to try. I know it looks like it wants to lift. Nope, sorry, Charlie. I'm not falling for that right now. They want the layers. I'm just having a hard time finding them. Okay. And I never thought that I could probably just read and see if it's stickers or not. <laughs> probably has a list. <coughs> like the contents. It just says attach them. It does not say. I'm, I'm I'm sure it'll be in the um video, so I think this needs to be not curved. <laughs> A little bouquet coming out. No. Yep. This was not supposed to take that long. I was just supposed to throw some stickers on. And. You know. Sometimes it's just making that decision 
of what you want it to be. That's got to be somewhere there, right? Yeah. And a butterfly. And I might have to go back and get another butterfly. But it's about layers with Anna, right? Everything's about layers. There we go for a quick, easy card. So if I was going to do a shaped card, then I needed a tent fold that went this way and then cut it here at the top. But there we go. And it's pretty. All right, everybody. Um, if you like my video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you join me again. Bye-bye now.